Good day and welcome to Space Station Live. We are in the Christopher C. Kraft Jr. Mission Control Center and the International Space Station Flight Control Room. Here uh, today as a team of flight controllers watching over the activities of Expedition 36 aboard the International Space Station. Chris Cassidy worked this morning with the SPHERES experiment, which is short for Synchronized Position, Hold, Engage, and Reorient Experimental Satellites. And this is part of a zero robotics competition activity uh, that actually is a joint activity with the European Space Agency uh, to allow students an opportunity to program these small little satellites that uh, maneuver relative to one another inside the large volumes of the International Space Station. These uh, satellites uh, were demonstrating their proficiency inside the uh, Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency provided Kibo Laboratory today. There is a possibility that someday these types of satellites could be uh, personal assistance for astronauts inside the space station or valuable assistance for spacewalking and, and providing camera views of activities outside the space station. In addition, at uh, 9.05 uh, today, uh, Chris Cassidy spoke with students at the Talbot Innovation Middle School in Fall River, Massachusetts as part of an educational event. Cassidy uh, enjoyed the event with the students on the ground, a New England native with roots in Massachusetts and Maine, uh, and promised to uh, have a uh, visit uh, in person after he completes his expedition. Meanwhile, Pavel Vinogradov uh, worked this morning to set up a run with the uh, Crystal experiment, which examines structural characteristics of uh, systems that are formed by charged, dispersed macroparticles uh, in a magnetic trap aboard the space station. Results of that experiment could uh, be used for future spacecraft and advanced photovoltaic or, so or solar cells. Later today, he's going to be doing some routine maintenance and cleaning the Russian segment of the space station. Meanwhile, Alexander Mazurkin is working this morning to continue checking out the new treadmill that was installed over the past several days in the uh, Zvezda service module of the station. That new exercise device arrived on the Progress 51 spacecraft, and the old treadmill has been temporarily stowed, and the new treadmill is getting ready to be put into use, helping keep the crew fit and ready for duty, as well as for the return to Earth and One Gravity. Today's uh, Crew Earth Observations activities are going to include an opportunity to take uh, the first look for the station crew at uh, tornado damage around Oklahoma City. Uh, they'll also include uh, views of Havana, Cuba, the Santa Barbara coast, uh, and uh, a, a uh, volcano site uh, both in Russia and in Mexico. In addition, uh, as this crew continues its work on orbit, the rest of the Expedition 36 crew is uh, in Kazakhstan getting ready for a launch to the International Space Station on May the 28th. Karen Nyberg, Luca Parmentano, and Fyodor Yuchikin are scheduled to uh, launch to the International Space Station uh, this upcoming Tuesday. They will be making uh, one of those uh, same-day rendezvous and docking uh, arrivals. Uh, the launch coverage starts at 2.30 p.m. Central Time on Tuesday. There will be a uh, launch scheduled for 3.31 p.m. Central Time. Docking coverage then resumes at 8.30 p.m. And then the docking is expected to occur at 9.16 p.m. So just within about six hours, the crew will be uh, going from Earth to the space station. And then we expect hatch opening coverage to begin at 10.30 p.m. with the hatches opening and the welcoming activities beginning about 10.55 p.m. Again, all that happening on Tuesday, May 28th.